Question 4.6. One reason for a yield less than 100% in the previous question is that G needs to react, uh, reacts to form um, a number of other compounds. The other compounds are all liquids. Uh, how am I going to separate the mixture of liquids? You can have distillation or fractional distillation. What kind of apparatus? Well, let's draw it. So what we've got is we've got a round bottom flask. We've got a fractionating column. We've got a thermometer and then we've got a condenser coming down into uh, a conical flask. If you're going to draw it, then be careful here. This tube should go all the way through this bung. Uh, the thermometer should sit here near the top of the fractionating column where uh, the outlet's coming down into a condenser. This tube goes all the way through the middle of the condenser and then round the outside is where the water flows. It goes in at the bottom and out at the top. And then you've got a conical flask with an open um, part here. Um, with no line going across, an open part to show that the top of the flask is open. Deduce the molecular formula of H. So it looks as if I've got CH3COCl with aluminium chloride. The aluminium chloride is going to remove the Cl and form AlCl4- and leave that a plus on the C. We'll have a look at this mechanism in a minute. Then that's going to... Um, join onto the ring and replace, substitute an H. So we're going to get electrophilic substitution here using AlCl3 as a catalyst. Anyway, to deduce the molecular formula of H, what have I got? How many carbons have I got? I've got six in the ring, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine carbons. How many O's? One O. And how many H's? Three, four, five, six. And then on each of these, I've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So every carbon has three bonds. Now I've got a delocalized ring of electrons here, which forms the fourth bond. C9H10O. I get two isomers. What are these? Well, I've got... Um, Phenyl ethanone with a methyl. I've got methyl phenyl ethanone, but it doesn't ask you to name it. It just asks you for the type of structural isomerism. Remember, there's structural isomerism. There's three kinds. There's chain, where you change the length of the chain. Now I've not done that. There's a position, where I've changed the position of something. Well, I've changed the position of this uh, ethanone group here from carbon number one, two, three to carbon number two. So it's definitely position. Uh, it's not functional group because I've not changed any of the functional groups. I've still got uh, an ethanone group here and I've got a methyl group here. So it's definitely position. Name and outline the mechanism for the reaction of ethanol chloride. Now ethanol chloride is this here, CH3COCl, a double bond CO and a Cl. A very, very reactive, violent um, chemical has violent reactions, especially with anything with water and forms white steamy fumes of hydrogen chloride. Name and outline the mechanism for the reaction of ethanol chloride with methyl benzene to produce H, including an equation for the formation of the reactive intermediate that's involved in the reaction. So what actually happens here is the CH3COCl reacts with the AlCl3. The AlCl3 removes Cl- and leave CH3CO. It's the C that's not got enough bonds. It's bonded to the CH3 and it's got a double bond to the O. So it's got three bonds instead of four. So it's got a plus on it. So let's actually have a look what happens here. So my CH3COCl reacts with AlCl3, forms AlCl4-. Um, that should be at the top rather than the bottom, alc 4 minus here. And it forms CH3CO. That plus should actually be on the C, because it's the C that's not got enough bonds. So it should be CH3C, a plus on the C, and then double bond O. That carbon's only got three bonds, that's why it's got a plus. The mechanism, so the mechanism for the reaction, is that you've got this methyl benzene reacting. You can see now the plus is on the C, because the C is not got enough bonds. It's only got three bonds rather than four. So this ring attacks the C plus. That joins on in the correct place. Let's have a look where it's going. It's going opposite the CH3. 
So if the CH3 is on carbon number one of the ring, this uh, ethanone group is going on carbon number four. So I've just rotated it round, but if this is carbon number one, two, three, four, it's opposite. And I need to draw the H on there as well. I need to draw a horseshoe. Should go a little bit further round, actually. That's a very wide horseshoe. Should go a little bit further round with a plus in the middle of the ring, because it's the ring that's lost electrons. Electrons have come from the ring, so that becomes plus. The C plus, the plus on the C is gone, because it's had electrons put onto it, so it's neutralised the plus. And there's the COCH3, COCH3 joined on. I've drawn the H, and then that goes back into the ring, and then that is going to make my product, which is this. Phenylethanone, methylphenylethanone.